The combination of drought and the rising cost of hay is making it tougher for livestock producers to have ample supply of feed on hand. In this week's Water Grows, ABC 7's Drew Powell reports on a grazing symposium hosted by the Ogallala Commons that illustrates how restored plyas can help growers in today's ever-challenging climate. Around here we're dealing with drought primarily and we have short wet spells by and large all across the high plains. We live in a continental climate. No, we do not have a coastal climate here in the, on the Texas High Plains. Moving animals across a landscape is a practice that has been going on for more than a century. However, it's becoming more challenging for livestock producers as the weather changes over the years. What the challenges of the long periods of dry that we're having uh, that seem to be becoming more prevalent, we were having to learn how to uh, manage the quality and quantity of the feed we have available and match the stocking rate of these animals so that we don't have to purchase too much outside feed. What we've got to try to do most of the time is meter out the quality forage and get and encourage the animals to, to mix that with some of the stuff of a little lesser quality. Playa Lakes are a primary source of recharge, providing clean water for future generations to enjoy. We're definitely seeing longer periods of drought and more frequent periods of drought, but we're also seeing more intense rain events, so shorter, more intense, but less frequent rain events. So that's gonna adjust how you do your grazing plan on your grasslands and in your playas. We still work within the paradigms of, of living within society and producing animals so people have their steaks and everything else, so we have good nutrition. The goal of the program is to help property owners better understand how to put a playa lake to work for you that'll be beneficial for wildlife and for future generations. Reporting from Castro County, I'm Drew Powell, ABC 7 News.